Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here. If you are brand new, consider subscribing if we haven't met. My name is Meshi and in today's video, we are going to be doing a little unboxing, a little quick review from a few of the products that I picked up recently from Monami. If you are not familiar with Monami, it is a Korean um, company. So if you're looking at any of the Korean and Japanese style, I guess, stationary haul, then this, this video is definitely going to be for you. So in detail, we're going to be looking at the Pen Plus 3000 and non-permanent fine liners. We'll also take a look at their Essenti soft highlighters. And I also picked up two of their super cute ballpoint pens. These are Point five. One is the Yummy Collection and the other one is the Puppy Collection. So if you have been curious to see how they are performing on both paper from Erin Condren and just normal print paper, then just stay tuned and let's get right into this. All right, first and foremost, if you are brand new, then consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. On this channel, we usually talk at least a couple of times a week and we talk about anything and everything lifestyle related. We talk about intentionality and sometimes we dive right into planner and planner supplies. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. All right, so first and foremost, I'm let me just get them all out of the package because I don't want them to glare into your face. It just becomes a little bit easier. Okay, let's begin first with these two guys. So the highlighters and the plus pens. So here, this package, it, it's a 12 piece set. I will just pop the prices for everything on the screen so you guys can take a look. And this is the color scheme that you receive. So you get four black, two blue, two purple, two red, and two green. And they're all the exact same thickness. These are non-permanent fine liners. Okay, so first let's actually just get it testing on paper. So here I have my Erin Condren planner. If you guys are familiar with, with these guys, you know that the paper is a little bit of a thicker sock, but I did grab just some normal uh, printer paper so that you can kind of see how they're actually performing. I only, I only looked at the black from this kit, but. And if you wanted to take a look at the closer look at the tip, here's what she looks like. I will say that the tip from the looks of it, it is, it, it's not very bendable. So it, it is fairly, fairly stiff at the first touch. Here are my thoughts just at the first glance. They look super, super duper cute. I think that on this paper, it actually demonstrates one of my concerns with these pens. While I absolutely love the thinness, it almost feels like it's not even a 0.5. It feels like it's thinner than that. It doesn't actually tell you on the box itself. Maybe it does. Let's take a look. No. I will have to take a look at the original description. It does tell you that it is made in Korea, but it doesn't actually tell you the thickness of the fine point pen. My understanding is that it is actually a 0.5. It definitely writes like a 0.5, so that might be it. But I want you guys to zoom, zoom in right up close and personal. And I want you to take a look at here where I said, here's me writing. See all the splatter that it actually leaves on the paper? And I thought that at first it was just the paper, but it's actually not. I will show you just a sample on just normal, normal printer paper. And you can also take a look and see how, if, if there's any see-through or if, if there's any bleeding onto the other side. A penny for your thought. Okay. On this paper, um, definitely a thinner stock paper, definitely smoother. 
but if you look super super close and i might just insert an actual close-up shot i can see it in person right around where i wrote um i don't know why i wrote pine i, I meant to write fine anyways where it says pine tip it kind of splatters the ink a little bit as if like the tip of the pen as it creates friction on the paper it sort of creates sort of a splatter you can definitely see it right around this area and so that kind of that might be a concern to you if you if you want that super clean elegant look on your paper then it might actually completely bug you but here's the review of these guys now let's take a look at the highlighters so the highlighters are again 12 piece and they're supposed to be like super pastel which is sort of why i grabbed it i thought that the the colors the color range just look so so cute and i was sort of a little bit over the mild liners and even though with the mild liners you're always sort of told that with mild liners it does it is a milder ink i never kind of found it to be the case so let's take a look so here i will just pop their names like right next to each other as i go along So here are all the swatches on in my Erin Condren planner. Now let's take a look. Well, first of all, let's take a look at the bleed through. I don't, I don't expect it to be any on this paper, only because it's a, it's a thicker stock. And lo and behold, there isn't really any. Let's take a look at the same thing on the actual printer paper, and I'll just swatch one. I'll just actually highlight what I already wrote. So here's what she looks like and as you can tell not not much of a bleed through you know like i can i can't see any more than i could with the actual pen itself and now for the fun ones so the two kits that i picked up is one with the puppies and one that's called yummy and I kind of like the fact that there aren't all, like there aren't really repeat colors from what I could tell these are 0.5 thickness which again I appreciate it to be honest I actually picked this up for my kids but I still I did try at least a couple of them and and I fell in love so first let's talk um for just a moment about the puppy kit so I have to say that by far my favorite here is actually the blue and the brown. I don't care too much for this green and even though it's a beautiful pastel green, but I have to say that I have to say that it's super hard to read as you can tell. So here it is super super close up and as you can tell like they're like really lovely colors so i guess it just really depends on how you're planning on using these pens but if you're using them to like make notes or like quick little highlights and things like that i think it might be okay this i would be a little bit concerned with with the green only because i think it would be a little bit harder to read but let's take a look at at least one of the colors let's take a look at them on in the Erin condren Same thing like it it writes beautifully it doesn't skip or anything but it is really really faint all the other colors they they come through beautifully in my opinion so if you're looking at all an alternative from the fine point pens i think that these would be great so 
So this is one kit. And then the other one that I wanted to show you, this is the Yummy Collection. That also comes with five colors. And these are the ballpoint pen that includes a story about yummy friends. I haven't actually looked into the story personally. I, I mainly purchased these for my children and I knew that they would be in love with them, which they are. So here are the five colors. Actually, let me see if I can find you the names. Okay, so this is going to be Salty Orange. And they almost look identical. They're not quite the same. If you are wondering, um, I think that this is a softer pink. So the Yummy is a little bit softer pink, personally. The green is called Sparkly Green. It does actually say the names right on there. I do love the color range for both of them. I would have a hard time deciding which one I actually prefer more. Let's take a look at how it swatches on printer paper. I love you. You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up. And we just sing along. And I can't help but feeling just loving. So there you have it. And overall final thoughts on, on everything on the entire haul. Personally, I think that these two kits that I, the colorful pens are fantastic if you have young children, if you're doing homeschooling, which is partially why I bought it. Um, or if you want some decorative, really cute things to add into your day planner or into your Erin Condren planner or into your bullet journal, I think that they are fantastic. They're easy to write with. They're easy to draw with. With, with these guys, would I recommend it? I would. I think that you need to really watch for what type of pen, I mean, what type of paper you're going to be using it on. I still absolutely prefer using my Sarasa clip from Zebra, the 0.5. It does write a lot smoother and I haven't had any issues with it on, um, on normal print paper or at the, or in my Erin Condren planner. And as for the highlighters, I, I personally really, really love these. I think that they are beautiful, they are soft, they are different but they're still like your traditional colors, but you do get a couple of funky colors in here that I personally don't have in my collection. Like I have this purple, which actually it writes this pastel purple instead of this really deep fuchsia that it shows in, in, the, color, in the color scheme here. Um, you also get this beautiful, they, I believe that they named it like golden. It's this pastel brown. I really love that color. Again, I don't have that. I think that this is olive. Yeah, pastel olive. Like these colors in on their own kind of make it worth it for me. And then of course you also get like your traditional colors like your yellow, your pink, your orange, your bright orange and like you get a couple of neons in there, but it's not like you're not really being dominated by neon colors that are really obnoxious. So if you want like a really beautiful softer look, these are a relatively inexpensive way to kind of get the job done. So this is all I wanted to share with you. Let me know in the comments if you have any of these guys in your collection and which one was your favorite. I would love to hear from you. And if you have enjoyed the video such as this one, then please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you wanna see more reviews like this one where I review certain um, stationary supplies, things like that, test them out, see how they work. Um, let me know in the comments. I would love to make more of these for you. I do have quite a bit of, of stationery in front of me. So, you know, sometimes it's just, it's nice to see how they perform on different paper, which is usually what I'm interested in. So if you want to see more like this, then just let me know in the comments and I would love to create that for you. And in the meanwhile, just keep shining your light, you guys. And I will see you guys again in my next video. Bye.